in the first two tournaments of this year. What? German Darts Championship in Hildesheim, the German Darts Masters in Jena, both in the third round, both ending 6-3 in favour of Michael van Gerwen. But I Why just got a little sneaky feeling that this could be the day. Well, Christo Reyes has just averaged 100 in knocking out Davil Gurney. He's been averaging in the high 90s right the way through this weekend. And he has looked like a player who belongs in the top echelons of World Dart. I actually told you yesterday that Christo Reyes, or oh, Michael, oh, 170 to lead, double 16. MVG turning it on this evening. Having a little think here, Christo. Well, wants to make sure he leaves a... 133. Yeah, we'll just hit the treble and it won't really matter. A double 16. Double 8. Still double 8. And there it is. In the first leg. Sticks it in the red bit. Second leg, Christo, to throw first. Game on. Business as usual for Michael Van Gerwen in the first leg here. And then Christo, response. Whoa, best response of the lot. Ball in a very neat and tidy line right across the board there. 140. Yeah, Reyes, his uh, averages this weekend have been very, very notable indeed. Four perfect guys. 140. Four perfect. You're not sort of clinging on to this idea that we'll see a nine dancer this yeah, weekend. Of course I'm not. Long since I've abandoned that malarkey. 140. Never going to see one ever again on the European tour. Quite exciting when they're threatened to do it, as Michael Smith did earlier on, missing double 12. Mm. Yeah, I told you yesterday, Chris Reyes is about to become, or is, the highest ranked PDC player not to have won a title, because this Nine run here this six. weekend is going to put him up to 28 in the world, potentially higher, depending on how far he goes. 11s now. Double 14. Oh, misses the double Nine for Nine a 12 darter, MVG. Ball 25, ball. Okay, trouble 20 tops. Not to be. 85. <laughs> it's the tops anyway. To leave tops. A double 14 for Christo Reyes. It's a 13 dart reply in one. So, yeah, Christo Reyes, this mantle of being the highest ranked player not to win a title. Davil Gurney had it. Won his first title earlier on this year in Barnsley. The mantle was immediately passed to Joe Cullen, who 16. only had it for less than 24 hours because he won the following day. Now, Christo Reyes is set to claim this unwanted title. 140. But theoretically, he could win here and lose it before he's even officially got it, which would <laughs> which outdo even Joe Cullen, who only held it for a matter of hours. Because officially, he's not up to... 28th in the world, going above Kyle Anderson, but he will do. Because we have to wait till Monday morning. Yeah, you have to wait till the end of the tournament before the rankings change. So he's provisionally higher than Kyle Anderson, who currently holds that. Yeah, brilliant. But yeah, be incredibly impressive. <laughs> 140. My view by 81. 81 for MVG, double 12. Yeah, so Michael Van Gerwen. Michael Van Gerwen. 12 data. And Chris over, I mean, he knows what Michael Van Gerwen's about. They've met eight times. He's seen him break records 100. left, right, and centre. Win all the big tournaments multiple times. And here he goes again. Threatening already here on the Reyes throw. Michael Van Gerwen 60. looking to take control of this semi final. Dare I say it? Six yeah. perfect darts. I've just said it. 141 points. There is the small matter of three more perfect darts needed by Michael Van Gerwen for the nine darter. Michael Smith very nearly pulled it off in the game we've just seen, and MVG will not. A skinny five. Backed up by two trouble twenties to leave double eight. Ten dart leg on the cards here, though, for Van Gerwen. Ten darters are the new nine darters, in my 100. opinion. <laughs> 16. 
They're de rigueur on the European tour. It's what everybody wants. Game he had a couple of 11 dart legs in his uh, previous encounter against Martin Schindler, who can leave this tournament with his head held high, I believe. Well, MVG, he, he only averaged just over 100. It was just over 101, actually, when he beat Martin Schindler in that quarterfinal. But for most of the game, he was averaging about 110. And it just put him in complete control of it. He looks to be doing a similar stuff 100. here to Christo Reyes. I mean, Christo's still averaging around about 100. Martin Schindler averaging about 95 all the way through the game. Played well. But he just was not given a sniff. And Michael Van Gerwen appears to be in that sort of mood with the average touching 118 almost and he's just so experienced he, he has more experience than anyone in the Easy final one. stages of tournaments because he's in them more than anybody and it's just it self-perpetuating reads yeah. itself yeah. No, it's so. success begets Relentless. success look at that 15 12 10 140. Needed to fill it up there, Christo Reyes, to get down to a finish. Eight on the par here, Michael Van Gerwen. Going very nicely indeed. 90. And that gets him down to a Shanghai as well. Got to stay straight. 60. He does stay straight, but you know, the 60's okay. Leaves Shanghai as well. Both guys looking at the same score line. Christo may not, got to go, may not get a go at it, but he will. Ooh, look at that. And that's the measure of Michael Van Gogh, and the fact he's 3-1 up, he's a break-up as well. Oh, oh well, that's unforgivable for Christo Reyes. 60. Simply can't afford to make mistakes like that here. Michael, Michael Van Gogh. Fully capitalising as you would pretty much always expect him to do. Mm, well, you know, Vincent van der Meer, this afternoon, a 6-3 win, a 96 average. 95. It was a relatively straightforward win for MVG in his second round game as well, where 98. he wasn't really pushed, he averaged 95. That was against uh, Christian Callenger, wasn't it? The host nation qualifier. But it's got to the evening session where Michael Van Gogh knows this is where I have to turn it on. And that's exactly what he's done. He's only dropped two legs so far. One against Schindler, one so far against Reyes. And that could be the extent of it as well. And that's another visit without a treble for Christo Reyes. The one win that Christo Reyes does have against Michael Van Gerwen came when he first started playing PDC darts. He turned up as a complete unknown at the World Championship, having won through a, a massive qualifying field in the Iberian qualifier. Had that run for the last 16, got a tour card off the back of it. Oh, hang about, MVG. <laughs> yeah, got a tour card off the back of it. In his 12th ranking event, he played MVG and beat him in the first round. And that was when MVG was in a ridiculous vein of form. He'd won the Masters. He'd won three or four UK Open qualifiers going into that. It was an unreal winning run he was on. And it was ended by Christo Reyes. But it does not look like Christo Reyes is going to end the winning run that Michael Van Gerwen is currently enjoying on the European Tour. Yeah, and the way MVG is time for a 6-1 win. Yeah, the way Van Gerwen just acknowledged that final dart there, that uh, securing of the fifth leg, just telling everybody in the hall that he means business here. 56% of the doubles. Christo Reyes has only been allowed two darts at double in this match because Michael Van Gerwen is averaging 114. It's been a long time since Reyes found two trebles with a visit and Van Gerwen has found three there. And the average rises. The highest we've seen from Michael Van Gerwen on the European Tour was around about 118 in a final against Gary Anderson in Hildesheim in an absolutely electric climax to the German Darts Championship a couple of years ago. I don't think we're going to see him Not quite, top no. that, but it is right up there with some of the best darts we have seen, the best displays we have seen on the European Tour over the last five years. MVG 
looks 57. sensational and pretty much unstoppable. Bullseye. Yes. Seals the deal, 12 data. Michael Van Gerwen is on fire in Vienna tonight. Christo